Khalid edits. Wow. All right, so a lot of you may have seen the Khalid edits that I post on my Instagram, and I know that a lot of you have been asking how to do them, and so that's what this video is going to be about. So, step one. Take a photo of your cleats. Can you press focus on my camera? On my camera. How do I do My that? camera. That's Just your camera. Just you mean your phone? No. What do I click? No. Uh, you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't Step two. Download the app PixArt on your phone. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and open the app. Keep in mind there's going to be a lot of ads, but once you're actually editing the photo, there is no ads. So once you've made an account, go ahead and open up the picture you've taken. And start editing it so it's the format that you want it to be. So this one, I don't really like this angle, so I'm going to rotate it the, that way. And I'm going to crop this down up to here. And once that is done, you can go ahead and start changing things like the contrast, the clarity, and the saturation. I'm going to put the saturation up a little bit. I'd say that is good. The shadows can go, mm, they can stay where they are. And then we're ready to start doing a basic color change edit and maybe some more stuff that I'll add in. All right, so what you want to do to actually change the color of the cleats is you want to press effects, you swipe over to colors, and color replace. So once it's on color replace, what you want to do is see the circle, you want to drag it over the color that you want to change. So in this case, I want to change the green. So I'll release on the green and see it's already changed. So what you want to do to change the color now is see the replace hue right there. Let me uh, zoom in. And what you do is change that. And that is what changes the color super easily. So you'll notice that in the background, the background is changing too. So what you can do to play around with that is use the minimum hue and the maximum hue to kind of drown out the, that background part that's all colored. But you don't want to do it too much because it'll ruin the color change on the cleat itself. So you want to do it at the perfect amount where all the pink on, is still on the cleat, but the background has as little po possible get rid of that last little bit of colored background what you can do is press the eraser at the top and change the size accordingly and zoom in and just erase and it'll get rid of all that all of that those uh, pixels and stuff like that okay so now that we've done that we can go ahead and add a, a new effect to it so you go effects, you go back to colors again, and see right here, it says colorize. So you want to click colorize, and see it will color everything in the photo. So what you want to do now is go on the eraser, or actually first, what you want to do is, because we're kind of going with pink, you want to make it pink, or whatever color you want, honestly. I'm just doing a like, pink theme right now. And you erase everywhere that you don't want the pink or the way I do it is I erase everything and then just color in the pink where I want it. So I'm going to erase everything and I'm going to paint, switch to the paintbrush this time which is down here and I'm going to just paint in where I want the color.
Okay, so the final thing that you can do to maybe spice up your cleat edit is go back into effects again, go back into color replace now that you have lots of pink, and you could change all the pink into a different color now. So I'm going to go make it blue. So now that I've made it blue, what you can do is what I like to call and many others like to call is a fade edit. So what you do is you go onto the eraser, you click the eraser, you put the size all the way up, and you put the hardness all the way down. So what this does is it'll make like a nice soft brush so when you go across it, when I do this, see how it makes kind of a, a fade of colors. Here. So you can make that pink again, or just do whatever you want. And there you go. Now our finished result looks like this. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that little tutorial on how to make a cleat edit or uh, just photoshopping basically on your phone. So that's a great app and I really suggest you use it, not for just cleat edits, but uh, literally any other photo editing on your phone. I'm going to be doing more complicated ones in the future, that was just kind of a basic one. And uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy what that app can do, so uh, in the next video I'll show you guys how to put pictures on and blend it in and make it look like it has cool effects on it, like a galaxy for example, maybe you guys have seen it on my uh, Instagram. Um, I'm still getting used to my camera, as you can see. I'm not quite sure the best way to film a phone was, and some of the exposure might have been bad, but hopefully you could still understand what I was doing and follow along if you want to try it yourself. So if you like the video, make sure you subscribe and leave a comment for ideas of what else I could do for videos. But I've been doing this for a while, so this is going to be my outro, so goodbye! So, uh, I'm just going to expect that you subscribe or else something bad's gonna happen. Goodbye. Joey that boy with a pump, ooh, door on me like a slump, ooh, he's at it who wanna flex, not a boy in a trunk, facts, I just been off a bean, still gonna smoke that green, used to be old girl, now that bitch my fiend.